there and welcome back to another one of my videos. Well I've been out of action for a little while just uh, suffering from a lack of inspiration uh, after my dad died recently and it took me a little while to get back into it. So I'm going to do a little video today. Okay so what I've got here today is a review on the uh, Casa Lambretta disc brake. Completely CNC machined. Absolutely looks fabulous. I've already got one on my other bike. This is another one. We just spin it around. Show you this side of it. It's got a centered hub here that's CNC machined, and then a spy uh, a spoked CNC uh, hub as well. Part of it that bolts together. This is a SIP rim on that I've put on just to make it look a little bit nicer as you do spin it around as you can see is your anti-dive system that comes on that goes onto your uh, clamps onto your front fork very nice and easy to do you can adjust the height on your fork suiting the braking requirements that you need I find it works better the lower you put it you get a better feedback a better response and you don't need it to stop diving you want some amount of dive in your braking not solid so keep it nice and low they've made some improvements of my last one they've now got we'll spin this around a CNC machined Casa Performance slave cylinder here so um, the calipers really really nice quality it's got a lot more meat in it the beauty of having that that volume of metal is that uh, it absorbs heat from the di from the brake when the when the disc's heating up. So you disperse the heat into this, and it's uh, not going to overheat your your disc and your brakes so quick. Whereas I had a little trouble with the other one, where you'd probably notice I made a heat sink for it, which didn't do that much. Uh, I went out and tested it, and uh, mm, wasn't a success. So I did really. I just took it off. So I think I'm going to make a scoop for it next. So the scoop will be the next uh, project for that, but I reckon this one's going to be much better because it's got more, much more volume, and the finish is much nicer as well. If you're looking at my uh, my Casa Performance one, you, the older model that I've got there, the the finish is not too good on it. It's got like a a, a cast metal finish, and it just gets full of grunt, full of full of crap, and you can't clean it out properly. Whereas this is a uh, anodized. CNC machined and it, that'll just clean up really nice all the anodized on my old older rim it's all stayed pretty good my older hub anyway what else can we say ah other things we can come in and look at is the fixings and and the actual disc now All these fixings that they use on, on their lovely CNC machine stuff is just galt screws and, and allen bolts. And really that is a real letdown because they all just go tarnished. Uh, even the SIP uh, nuts on their rims, they've got beautiful rims and then they just put galt nuts on. They just, they just tarnish up in no time whatsoever. You can't keep them good. They just end up getting tarnished and that's it the same with these uh, fixings in the back of the castle one and all these bolts that's on it everything is, they're not they're not stainless or they're not chrome they're just gulfed and they really do uh, start to tarnish up quick so uh, that's a bit of a disappointment I would expect from somebody that's so crazy about their aesthetics that they would have used stainless <laughs> something that's going to keep a, a nice look about it for a long time because this is just going to go so probably these will probably end up being replaced with stainless steel at some point if I can find the right fix it the right fittings for them same as the uh, the allen bolts in the uh, in the in the uh, caliper as well they can be replaced with stainless steel uh, I don't know what this banjo bolts made of let's have a look this doesn't seem to be gold. No, it's uh, it looks like an anodized aluminium. Well, let's see how that 
survives. Oh, just drop the O-ring off it. Uh, back on. Just a couple of our wings. Want to save them? Don't lose them. Come on. There we go. Okay. What I really like as well that they supply the brake line and it comes black coated. So these are actually stainless. Brilliant. Thank you very much, Casa Lambretta. Oh, hang on. Thank you very much, Casa Performance. So we must remember to say Casa Performance, Casa Performance, Casa Performance. There you go. Right, what I really like about it is they've incorporated this really nice brake light switch, which is operated hydraulically. It's an hydraulic switch. So this will have to be wired into your back brake pedal. So therefore, when you pull you from braking, it compresses the little switch inside and you've got a rear brake light operating from the front brake lever. Great. But yeah, this is a quality item. Really like it. Stainless steel end fittings. Mine not. Anyway, this one is. Right, we'll go along now and have a look at the master cylinder. This is now a CNC machined version of the earlier one and it's also anodized so it's going to stay in much better condition. The top's anodized with Casa Performance, Casa Performance, oh yes, on it as well. Is the right eye up? Yeah, Casa Performance. Of course I'm sponsored by nobody so I'm free to say wherever I like, within reason. So yeah, this is pretty good. Um, very nice, very nice quality compared with my other one, which is on my other bike. As you can see, it's kind of a bit dowdy already. It's got a little rubber cover on it. It's got a different cover on the top. It's got that same sort of pitted aluminium cast effect and you just can't keep it clean. I don't like that so they are up in their game a little bit but get me some all the fixings should be stainless steel come on we don't want to have corrosion on our on our super expensive front brake so that needs to be sorted out uh, oh they take my heat and by the way please send me another front caliper because that one's rubbish Of course on my uh, DL I've got this LTH one with just an SR front disc brake conversion on it and I really do like the look of it. That's neat and tidy. Ah yes and while I've remembered I'll just show you around my air filter, air box configuration. It's all still in development, it's going pretty good now and sort of perfected the whole thing. We've changed the bracketing on there now, so it's mounted off the top of the carb and off the top of the uh, mag housing. So that makes it really nice and sturdy, fits on, easy access to get to, you can still get and mix to your mixture screw and idle screw and everything. I've got one on my other bike and it works fantastic. I'm really, really pleased with this. One of the better things I've invented. So there we are, the new and improved Casa Performance disc brake. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for coming back to see me again. See you soon.